Number 25, Kofi Annan. A Ghanaian diplomat, Kofi Ada Annan served as the 7th Secretary General of the United Nations from 1997 to 2006. He became a co-recipient of the 2001 Nobel Peace Prize for founding the Global AIDS and Health Fund to help and support developing countries care for their people. Number 24, Marianne Cope. Also known as St. Marianne of Malachi, Marianne Cope was a German-born American and member of the Sisters of St. Francis of Syracuse, New York. Known for her charitable works and virtuous deeds, she spent many years caring for lepers on the island of Molokai in Hawaii. Despite direct contact with the patients over many years, Cope was not afflicted by the disease. Number 23, Pierre Toussaint. The venerable Pierre Toussaint was a former slave from the French colony of Saint-Dominique who was brought by his owners to New York City in 1787. After he gained his freedom in 1807, he adopted the surname Toussaint and became one of the most famous philanthropists of his time. His house in Franklin Street became a shelter for orphans, which he supported in getting an education and learning a trade. He also created a credit bureau and employment agency for destitute travelers and founded a refuge for homeless immigrants. Number 22, Tony Blair. Tony Blair is a British politician who served as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1997 to 2007. While in office, he was known for his motivation to do something about global climate change and reduce harmful gas emissions. He also launched several charitable foundations, including the Tony Blair Sports Foundation, in order to increase childhood participation in sports activities, and the Tony Blair Faith Foundation to tackle global poverty and conflict. Number 21, St. Elizabeth Romanova. The Grand Duchess Elizabeth Feodorovna of Russia, who was canonized as St. Elizabeth Romanova, was a German princess who was renowned in Russia for her beauty and charitable works among the poor. When her husband, Sergei, was murdered by the Socialist Revolutionary Party's combat organization with a dynamite bomb in 1905, she did not only forgive her husband's murderer, but also successfully campaigned for his pardon. Number 20. Barbara Streisand the popular singer has given millions to education, women's health, the environment, and other civic causes. She's known for raising awareness and donating to numerous charitable organizations by way of the Streisand Foundation. Number 19. Dulce Pontes. Brazilian Catholic Franciscan sister who founded the Charitable Works Foundation of Sister Dulce. Dulce Pontes was recently named the most admired woman in the history of Brazil. She was known for her works with the poorest populations of Salvador, Bahia, Brazil, and was beatified with papal approval on May 22, 2011. She became a candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize after founding one of the largest and most respected philanthropic organizations in the entire country. Number 18. Sir Roger Wilbraham. A prominent English lawyer who served as a solicitor general for Ireland under Elizabeth I, Roger Wilbraham was also active in charitable works locally. Known for founding numerous almshouses for the poor and distributing financial provisions on a weekly basis, he managed to create a very philanthropic reputation for himself. Number 17. Margaret Thatcher Popularly known as the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher was a British politician who became the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1979 all the way to 1990. Her charitable works were often associated with the Margaret Thatcher Foundation that was not surprisingly devoted to promoting democracy, free trade, and education. Number 16, Mia Farrow. Mia is not only famous as an American actress, a former fashion model, and singer, but also for her humanitarian works. She's always been a high-profile advocate for children's rights in war-torn regions of Africa. Sometimes resorting to Gandhi-like tactics, she once went on a hunger strike to protest the expulsion of aid groups from the Darfur by the Sudanese government. Number 15, Paul Allen. Paul Allen is the co-founder of Microsoft, the largest computer software manufacturer today. For the 10th consecutive year, he's been donating $372 million to his chosen charities, which include $295 million to the Paul Allen Foundation, $70 million to the Allen Institute for Brain Science, and $7.6 million to the Experience Music and Science Fiction Museum. According to Forbes magazine, he's the third biggest donor of 2011 when it comes to giving funds to charitable institutions. Number 14, Stella Vine. Stella is a British artist who is well known for donating numerous paintings to charity. It just goes to show that you don't have to be filthy rich in order to give. Whatever talents you have can be just as useful. Number 13. Tetsuko Koryonagi Tetsuko is a very famous Japanese actress, talk show host, and a best-selling author who founded the Toto Foundation, which was named after the protagonist of her book, The Little Girl at the Window. 
The Foundation professionally trains deaf actors so they can implement her vision for bringing theater to the deaf. In recognition of her charitable work, she became the first person from Asia to be appointed a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF. Number 12. Richard Branson Richard is an English business magnate who is the founder and chairman of Virgin Group, a conglomerate of over 400 companies. Besides his many accomplishments as a businessman, along with Nelson Mandela, he's also known for helping initiate the formation of the Elders, a small, dedicated group of leaders that are working to solve difficult global problems. Number 11. Esther Ranson Esther is not only famous as an English journalist and television presenter for the BBC television show That's Life, but also for her charitable causes. She's founder of the child protection charity Childline and is currently in the process of creating a helpline for older people to be called the Silver Line, designed to combat loneliness. Number 10. Jimmy and Rosalind Carter As President of the United States, Jimmy Carter was deeply committed to social justice and basic human rights. He and his wife, Rosalind, left the White House in search of meaningful ways to contribute in these areas. In addition to promoting peace and human rights through the nonprofit Carter Center in Atlanta, they lead the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project along with Habitat for Humanity every year. Number 9. Yang Yun King Yang, CEO of Chinese computer corporation Lenovo, lived up to his charitable reputation when he decided to use his $3 million bonus check to award 10,000 employees worldwide with bonuses of their own. Number 8. Lord Wolfson The chief executive of the retailer Next, Lord Wolfson is another CEO who decided to part ways with his bonus check when he gave all 2.4 million pounds to his 20,000 employees, each of them receiving roughly 125 pounds each. Number 7. Margaret Cargill An heir to Cargill Corporation fortune, Margaret Cargill tops Forbes magazine's list of the most generous people in America. Cargill Corporation was established by her grandfather in 1865 and has become one of the largest private companies in the nation with diverse interests ranging from agricultural commodities all the way to financial products. When she died in 2006 at the age of 85, she left all her shares in the Cargill stocks amounting to $6 million to the Margaret Cargill Foundation and the Anne Ray Charitable Trust. These foundations support the environment, disaster relief, arts, and other causes. Number 6. Aung San Suu Kyi a Burmese opposition politician and chairperson of the National League for Democracy in Burma, Aung is probably one of the world's most prominent political prisoners as she spent nearly the last 20 years of her life under house arrest. Her immense sacrifices for the Burmese people have led her to receive recognition from numerous governments around the world. Number 5. Danny and Marlo Thomas As a starving actor, Thomas made a vow. If he found success, he would open a shrine dedicated to St. Jude Thaddeus, the patron saint of hopeless causes. Thomas never forgot his promise to St. Jude, and after becoming a successful actor in the early 1950s, his wife joined him and began traveling the United States to help raise funds to build his dream, which would eventually be St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, a hospital for needy children where no suffering child would be turned away. Today, his daughter Marlo serves as the National Outreach Director. Number 4. Bob Geldof. Bob was first exposed to charity when he performed for Amnesty International in 1981. This opened his eyes to charitable work, so he co-founded Band-Aid in 1984 to raise funds for famine relief in Ethiopia. Besides organizing Band-Aid 2 in 1989, he also produced Band-Aid 20 in 2004 and helped British Prime Minister Tony Blair to organize the Commission for Africa to undertake a year-long study of Africa's problems. Number 3. Bono. The frontman for the famous rock band U2, he's a wealthy rock star who spends most of his free time having dialogues with world leaders and policymakers on how they can improve the lot of the poorest of the poor in Africa. He's also very active in Band Aid and Live Aid projects, and quite often uses his music to spread information on health, hygiene, and other issues. Some of his foundations and charitable companies include the One Campaign and a clothing company that trades with poverty stricken countries. Number 2. Nelson Mandela. Nelson was a prominent advocate of social and human rights and was actively involved in projects such as Make Poverty History and the One Campaign. His selfless efforts in South Africa led him to receive the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. And number one, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. An Albanian-born Indian Roman Catholic nun, Mother Teresa founded the Missionaries of Charity, a Roman Catholic organization which in 2002 consisted of over 4,500 sisters and is active in 133 countries. They run hospices and homes for people with HIV AIDS, leprosy, and tuberculosis using soup kitchens, children's and family counseling programs, orphanages, and schools.
If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.